Hi everyone, so it's Erica, and today as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a video on how I found positivity. Now, you may or may not know this, but I love, love, love making videos about positivity, spreading the message on YouTube, and I'll actually link my playlist that I have down below. I recommend checking out my previous positivity videos if you haven't yet and seeing kind of what I talk about in those and stuff like that just so you can know a little bit more about me but today I'm gonna be giving you guys the story behind how I really switched over to this lifestyle which I now am so happy to be living and I really really enjoy spreading this message I really hope that at least one person can benefit from this video and you know find it helpful or inspiring or something like that and just so you all know I'm always open to questions if you want to ask me anonymously for like advice or something or you just want to talk to someone you can always message me on tumblr I will have my tumblr link down below although it's always linked in the description box I love responding to your guys messages on there if you just want to chat and say hi or something like that so anyways I hope you all enjoy this video and let's just get into it so going back in time into my preteen early teenage years I always felt like I didn't fit in and it wasn't that I didn't fit in with people at school because I actually had a great friend group it was that I didn't fit in at home with my family and I'm not talking about my direct family but I'm talking about my cousins I always felt like I was the odd one out of my family of all my cousins and I don't know why it just affected me so much and I would just go to bed crying like day after day just because I felt out of place whenever I was with my cousins I think the reason for this was that all my cousins had another cousin that was around the same age as them or if not the exact same age as them and I was kind of stuck in the middle like I had younger cousins and then I had older cousins therefore I really really did not feel like I fit in anywhere of course I tried to I tried to fit in I always ended up hanging out with my younger cousins though for the most part I just felt more comfortable I felt like I wasn't cool enough to hang out with my older cousins and that's just how it was so I think this made my self-esteem go down. Also, when I started doing sports, like I started playing volleyball in sixth grade. I loved it. I fell in love with the sport. I played it all through middle school. But then eighth grade came and I joined a competitive um, club team. And so the thing was that on this team, I was the only one that could not overhand serve. And in club volleyball, it was like, you have to overhand serve or you really can't serve at all at least on the team that I was on and then the league I was in and that really really discouraged me and it had a big effect on me again I would cry at almost every single practice when people weren't looking I would be in the corner practicing my serves and I just felt like I could not do anything I just felt like I was not good enough at all so not only was I going through a mental struggle with not fitting in with my cousins and stuff like that but I was also now not being good enough for this volleyball team but you know I never gave up and that was the one thing about me you know I wasn't ever really negative I wasn't a person who always saw the bad the dark side of everything but I mean I have had my dark moments I mean we're all human who hasn't the thing was that I always have looked at the bright side my entire life and I think that this is why it was easy for me to just adapt this positive lifestyle but there is one song that I remember so well because it basically helped me through all my tough times when I felt like I was not good enough. And that song is called Believe in Me by Demi Lovato. If you just listen to the lyrics, those are literally words that were taken out of my mouth from that time in my life. It's an incredible song and it was just so powerful to me. Whenever I would hear that song, it would just remind me that, you know, I'm not alone in this. Someone else understands me out there and I don't have to feel like I'm not good enough. I was so lost with who I was and who I wanted to be. It wasn't until like my mid-teen years that I realized that the reason I felt so out of place with my cousins was because I was just different. I had different interests, I still do, and I still am different, but different isn't a bad thing. And I wish I would have realized that when I was 
struggling and feeling like I was not worth anything, like I was never going to be good enough, like I was never going to fit in. You know, I can honestly say that I do feel like I've had my heart broken at least twice in my life. I do feel like I've hit rock bottom before, but I think what got me through it is that I managed to have hope and I managed to see the light at the end of the tunnel. The only approval and validation and belief you need is the one from yourself. It really, really does depend on what you think of yourself and if you love yourself. And I really do think that's where true confidence comes from. So during the summer of freshman year, I had just stopped talking to this guy that I really thought I loved. And you know, I was tired. I was tired of being upset about crying because we were no longer a thing anymore. And it just got to the point where I was like, this isn't me. I don't want this to control me. You know, I have to move on. I was so glad that the way I chose to move on was to find something that I loved, that I was passionate about. In a sense, it was a distraction from the pain, from like the sadness, and it just made me happy. So the summer before sophomore year, I decided to fully invest myself in YouTube and to start my own beauty fashion channel. And it was my passion, and it was what made me happy, and finally I saw more light at the end of the tunnel, and I was almost out. I was ready to just start over and be a new person. And another thing that really got me through like the dark times of my life and helped me discover positivity was Tumblr, believe it or not. I would blog all the time. I would find all these amazing quotes to help me like move on, talking about positivity, and they changed my life. It's amazing what a few words on a screen could mean to a person who wants so badly to heal themselves of hurt and sadness. And I just continued to tell myself like, things will get better, there is always a bright side no matter what. And then I just started reading more books and reading more quotes and all these kinds of things about positivity and I just looked at the world in such a fascinating light. Just discovering the path to positivity has opened so many more doors and shown light on so many more paths that I wish I would have known back then. I found new outlets that lead to self-love and compassion. I've discovered this vegan lifestyle that I feel so much happier on. Happier than I was just a few months ago. I've discovered a new sense in spirituality and all these books that I'm reading about how the universe works and I've started doing yoga, which is all about self-love. And I just feel so at peace with myself now and with the world and I just want to share this message now and tell like my story, although it's not something incredible, you know? The point is that I'm now at a place where I didn't know that I could be, but I'm so proud of how far I've come and who I've become. And I just hope I continue to grow into a better person every single day. So that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in a comment below if you want to see more positivity related videos or like advice or something like that. I'd love to do that. Remember that I'm always here for you guys. I'm just literally a message away. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.